finished. <laughs> finished. <laughs> So let's get this started. Welcome to Wiener Neustadt here at the Diamond Aircraft um, home base. And it's finally the day. We're starting to prep for our flight across the Atlantic Ocean from Wiener Neustadt to uh, London, Ontario. As you can see in the background here, we are preparing and testing our equipment. Try mine. This is a 426 life raft with a red cover. Okay. You have here a handle, yeah, which you pull out, yeah, and it's carbon dioxide uh, filled up with a cartridge. Okay. Once you really need it, put that up and tether it to the like raft, right? Put that into the life raft, yeah. But this goes to your mate. Right. Okay. So yeah. we're not losing ourselves. There is an, an anchor in there. Step. A stabilization anchor and there are steps in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if it comes to that point, yeah, you will need, you will find all your forces and all your strengths to to find a way. Yeah. But be sure this is tough work. Okay. So this is what you would survive with. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this here goes into the into the hub, into the into the block of the oxygen system. This is your cannula. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. an oxy saver cannula. Mm -hmm. So this is put your basically into your into mm -hmm. your nose. And with this, you can fix it behind the other, below your mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. And once you have pressure on the system, what you do is, you have an adjustment screw, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you see this little ball hovering yep. in there? Yep. Okay. So you have to open the screw until the ball hovers at a certain scale level. And these uh, numbers reflect the altitude you're flying for in. Mm -hmm. So. 10,000, 12,000, 15, 18,000 feet, mm -hmm. right? Or if you don't use this kind of mask, which is saving oxygen quite a lot, mm -hmm. but if you're using a different mask, yeah, then you need to use this scale. So you see already the difference between between those. Yeah. Yeah. So if you fly 18, yeah, mm -hmm. open that screw that it hovers in 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. We will also discuss the route we're flying. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit interesting because um, of the winds and the weather and the weather needs to be good um, in the meantime uh, I'm gonna show you the plane we're flying a DA62 brand new seven-seater from the aircraft I think it's time for a little introduction of the airplane so let's take a look Actually, uh, yeah, as we, as we see today with, uh, with the quite strong winds we have, um, autumn is coming, yeah, and therefore also um, our, uh, our routing needs to be changed a little bit from the normal routing. So if you take a look actually over here for our wind forecasts, so this is Vienna and we want to head ultimately here to Reykjavik on the first day. Um, so we will stop somewhere here in northern northern uh, continent, and then going to the north uh, coast of the island uh, to Vik, and then move further. 
Wind-wise, it looks it looks to be good to Greenland, wherever destination we have. Yeah. Um, the destinations we have there is one airport over here approximately, which is called Kulusuk. This is a gravel runway and this is an ultimate lifesaver. So this is nothing we are actually planning with. Yeah. But we do have uh, four airports over here on the west coast, which is the small thousand one is Nasaswak. Yeah. Then we have Pamilt over here, um, Nuuk, and up there more northern is um, Kangalusak. Yeah. So with these wind conditions over here, about 20 knots ahead, let's call it right there, um, we will reach every airport over there. Uh, yeah, for tomorrow we are planning for a seven o'clock departure, uh, local time. Okay. okay. So this means um, six o'clock lo uh, latest meeting over here. Just be sure that you bring some some warm cloth with you. Yeah, it will be cold up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you have it already, but if not, get something today. Yeah. Um, so anyway, if you're Canadian, you know what cold weather is. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, just be if it's it's not the temperature which is the problem, but it's most of the time the wind, yeah, which is really cooling you down, yeah, because. I'm I'm fine just with a printout of the flight plans. That's yeah. for me also. And the with yes. all this Jefferson and mm -hmm. Garmin pilot yeah. stuff and so on yeah. we have today, I think it's so we have it in the electronic way. I also want to introduce myself, that you know who I am. Uh, my name is Mikkel Lang. I am 23 years old. I am a student pilot here at a local flight school, just 200 meters away from the Diamond Base, and I'm gonna join on this fair flight. I'm really excited about that and so thankful for the opportunity they gave me and I really hope that or I don't even hope I know this is gonna be the sickest thing I've ever done in my life. So I've now set up all the cameras so here is the thing we have. We have one GoPro here facing both pilots. We have this camera filming the cockpit and then we have this one filming the front and this little one filming the wing so I think that's the best way to show you how things work in this airplane this could actually be very comfortable I mean now having a headset on my head it doesn't look good but look at this I can sleep in this thing, that's perfect. Really looking forward to that. The next thing we're gonna do is to go for a short test flight right now going through all the aircraft systems and everything just to be sure that everything runs properly and I can't wait to fly this thing for the first time
aircraft is back in the hangar and it's ready for tomorrow. We just finished the test flight and I really have to say this aircraft is awesome and I can't wait to fly with this across the Atlantic. It's, that's unbelievable. So tune in for the next video, then the journey starts and we're gonna fly from Wiener Neustadt to I believe maybe Wick or Reykjavik in Iceland, it depends on the weather. And yeah, we will see how far we could get tomorrow. So see you tomorrow, tune in and have a nice one, bye.